Thanks for stopping by. Today we are talking about speciation. Speciation is the formation of one or more new unique species from a current species. In order for one species to split into two or more, a faction within the species must not share its genetic information with the rest of the species. This is called reproductive isolation. And there are two main categories of contributors to this isolation prezygotic barriers and postzygotic barriers, so named for whether they occur before or after fertilization. Prezygotic barriers result when two groups within a species isolate themselves from one, from one another in some way. So let's look at some examples. Temporal isolation occurs when members of the same species are active at different times of the day, month, or even year. More specifically, they breed at different times. For example, if some members of a group breed during the day and others breed during the night, they are isolating themselves from one another and not sharing genetic information. The same would be true for one group breeding in the spring and the other breeding in the fall, again, both from the same species. Behavioral isolation is another. In this case, members of the same species behave differently, especially with their mating practices. So these members may have slightly different mating rituals that don't attract members of the other group, thus isolating who they mate with. Others include mechanical isolation, where some members physically can't mate with others, habitat isolation, where the habitat occupied by members of a species differs, and thus breeding interactions differ, and gametic isolation, which occurs in aquatic animals. You can learn more about all of these by following the links in the description. Now to postzygotic barriers. Again, these barriers occur after fertilization has occurred, so mating happens, but no viable or fertile offspring is produced. These include reduced hybrid viability, in which case there is successful fertilization, but development is not successful or results in very weak offspring, which is prone to early death. Another example is reduced hybrid fertility, in which case uh, a mating is successful at producing offspring, a hybrid of the parents, but the offspring is not fertile and thus uh, produces no offspring of its own. The classic case is a mule, the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse. The mule, the mule lives a full life and can function just fine, except when it comes to reproducing. Um, this is one reason that donkeys and horses are considered to be different species. A final example of postzygotic barrier is hybrid breakdown, uh, in which offspring is produced, and that offspring may be able to reproduce, but the second generation will be weak and or sterile. Uh, speciation, as we've talked about with respect to reproductive barriers, is a complicated topic, which I've done my best to simplify. So if this video helped you, give it a like, and if you have more questions, please throw them in the comments. Um, if you want to learn about allopatric speciation versus sympatric speciation, watch this video. It'll help. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.